What's up school fans, balik dengan Ruki Padilla dan hari ini ada konten yang super eksklusif dari Manila, Filipina dimana hari ini gue akan meliput pertandingan antara Dewa United Banten melawan Enlex Road Warriors ini pertama kalinya gue menonton tim IBL on TV BA so I'm very excited about today dan ya yeah, thank you so much kepada Dewa United yang sudah mengizinkan gue untuk meliput game hari ini ini adalah merupakan game pertamanya mereka mereka akan bermain 4 kali selama seminggu ada di Filipina dan gue coba bisa meliput 2 aja guys <laughs> karena lusa gue udah balik lagi ke Jakarta dan dari Enlex ini nomor Delapan jago sih, namanya Don Trollano. Man, he was killing it today. They call him the franchise katanya. Dan juga tadi point guardnya nomor satu juga not bad. Dan of course ada Sean Anthony. Sean Anthony adalah salah satu pemain veteran juga di PBA. Sedangkan dari Dewa United, oh Leo not bad loh hari ini masuk. Walaupun menitnya nggak banyak, tapi dia very efficient dan juga berani banget sih mainnya. Dan Anthony Johnson harus kerja keras hari ini karena memang Ramon Galloway hari ini harus absen karena dia tiba-tiba tadi sakit demam. Uh, jadi Anthony Johnson salah uh, satu-satunya pemain import yang main hari ini dan he was working really hard in the paint. Uh, tadi ada dunk dia juga satu keren banget, you guys have to check it out so kalau gitu guys, kalau panjang lebar kalau kalian ingin nonton hal secara full kalian bisa langsung join jadi member untuk support channel ini kalau kalian ingin makin banyak lihat hal sekali keren ke depannya kalian join jadi member, dan kalau gitu guys jangan lupa untuk like, jangan lupa untuk komen enjoy the hal guys
We are here with the uh, Dewa United head coach Santiago Rimoldi. Coach, how are you doing? Hi, hi, Rocky. It's a pleasure to, to be uh, talking with you. Thank you so much, coach. Thank you for taking your time. Coach, this is your first time coaching Dewa United. Yeah. How was your experience today? And you play against a tough Philippines team. Yeah, I, it's my first time in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. I am really happy in my organization. I think it's very, very professional organization and uh, I have to work and give us uh, my best. And before you came to Indonesia, how much video did you watch about okay. your team? I did uh, we watch video because I follow they were united mm -hmm. uh, coach Maxi is my friend mm -hmm. and I follow uh, your team obviously and oh, I, I watch it uh, a lot of uh, games to they were and maybe another team uh, to I build and this trip going to the Philippines you're gonna be here for seven days what do you want to accomplish with the team yeah after we are very, very lucky people um, come here to play uh, with professional team of um, Philippines. It's very important for us because we need to improve our uh, competitive and I think here we have this opportunity. And Leo, Leo played really well. What do you think about Leo today? Leo, yeah. Leo is, is a big guy and he always ran to the offensive uh, ribbon and this is very important uh, to me. Thank you so much coach, good luck. Thank you Rocky, thank <laughs> you. See you. We're here with the big guy Anthony Johnson. Anthony, how you doing man? I'm doing good, doing good. And how was your first experience playing in the Philippines? Uh, it was good, it was good. Our main focus on this trip is to get better, uh, try to prepare for the second half of the season. Uh, we have a new coach, we have new, like, new systems, we got to get everything right. Uh, of course, without Caleb, it's a different game. Uh, but it'll, with this trip, it'll be great for our young guys. They'll get more confidence going into the second half. Is it? Is there any big difference though between Coach Maxi and Coach Tayado right now? Uh, you know, they, they kind of have the same philosophies. It's just uh, one tweak here, one tweak there. It's, it's normal. I, uh, every coach has their certain philosophies, but he's pretty good at figuring out which players play, how we do it. You were staying in Indonesia the whole time during the break. Why was it so important for you to stay there? Uh, for me, it was more important because um, right now we're not we're not on vacation. Mm -hmm. We're not. It's not a vacation for me in the season. Never. Um, if you go home, you work out, you do everything. I can take a vacation after we win a championship. Uh, I don't really care about trying to enjoy now. If I, I took that time to recover to think about stuff that happened the first half of the season to get better on different things, get in better shape, um, and just prepare for the second half of the season. What was the biggest learning experience that you had during the first half of the season? I mean, for, for me, it wasn't, it's always basketball. It was, for me, it was more of the, the first, like, month or so, like I had, I still had the injury with my ankle. So it was kind of like just getting healthy, which I started to get healthier by the, like during the time, but it, I never had the time to really just work out and focus on just that. So I took this time to do that. Cal I, we know Caleb is with the national team. Is it hard though? Is it different without Caleb? Like you guys getting ready for the next half of the season? Um, I mean, like, uh, not really because it's yeah. such a long break. It's like right now it's, because we know what Caleb can do. We can yeah. put Caleb, if Caleb arrived right now, coming to our team he's going to be the exact same player uh, we know how he plays um not right now it's trying to get the seventh the eighth the ninth the tenth man because in the second half of the season you never know who is going to have we're going to need at some point each player is going to be needed in the season so right now it's more about getting their confidence up we had call up we only get better and yeah you see today uh like leo leo actually played really well what do you think about his game today uh, it was good it was good uh there was a couple things I wanted to work on, but he's he's such a nice kid. Uh, like sometimes I want him to be a little more meaner, but he's he's been working this whole break. Uh, like I said, our whole team, everyone, the players. Today it was more about us learning, like the new system, figuring out stuff. So I mean, it's not really about the win or the loss. It's about us just getting better and. Get ready for the second half. Like we have a game again tomorrow, mm -hmm. we have to make sure we're better than today. And so far, how how much do you enjoy playing with Dewa United and playing in the IBL? Oh uh, yeah, I love Dewa. Dewa is a great organization. I love my teammates. 
Uh, we have, like to me, I have to, like, we have the best staff, the best training staff. Um, I have, <laughs> I have no problems. IBL, I like playing in it. Uh, it's been each each series I've tried to get better and better. Um, so, I mean, the main thing is all all basketball is the same for me. But the organization today has been amazing. Crystalline, please give Crystal me my boy. <laughs> give me my boy. Let's His go, endorsement. Baby. His endorsement. He I needs need that, that endorsement. Crystal line, baby, we know we got it on our jerseys, man. I need oh, yeah, that. I saw that. I yeah. need that. <laughs> I need more water, man. <laughs> Anthony, thank you so much. Thank and you. good luck, man, for the second half of the season. Thank you, thank you.